Street Talk here for Chargers TV. Um, How's it going, Roddy? Trent Arnold. Yeah. You've, um, you're here drinking the uh, Rex cocktail. What are your um, overall review thoughts on the uh, Rex cocktail? On the beverage. On the beverage, yes. It's quite unfavourable to Un the taste buds. And good. why is it unfavourable? It's <laughs> <laughs> to be a more To be more politically correct, why does it not taste favourable? Because, like, when I drink other drinks that taste good, this doesn't taste like those drinks. Can I have, do you mind if I have a sample? No. Well, that's, that's a shame. I'm drinking it all. Do you want to introduce us to your mates here? Sorry, this is Ben. Ben, how are you going? Ben, ben here with Chargers TV. Yeah, sure. Sure, and we're here with who else? Who else are we here with? Don't know your name, sorry. Okay. Jack. Jack, we're here. There it is. Jack old mate. That's all right. Now, what have you, how have you found Trent's company? He's been a bit of a pain here on Chargers TV. <laughs> how have you found his social atmosphere so far? Well, it's the first time I've met him, so he's like an all right bloke. Okay, it's the first time we've seen him since he's five. And, uh, Fantastic, as per usual from Trent. Per usual. Well, right, there you go for Chargers TV. Behind the scenes there, but let's be honest, he's probably not much scratch. <laughs> we'll, find some, we'll find someone else. Are we recording? Yeah. Right up. We've um, hang on a sec, fellas. Look up. We've turned up here. We've move over. Start of the show right here. With here with uh, Terry and Geordie. And um, what did you think of uh, Coach Stewart's comments, saying it was a bit of a disappointment this year, Terry? I'll hand it over to Geordie for that one. Okay. So uh, Stewie said it was a bit of a disappointment this year, and he's um, Terry's not willing to comment. And of course, you're a man of a hundred words. What did you think of that one, uh, Geordie? Well, yeah, I will comment. Definitely, we had a lot of talent in the team this year, and like all the guys here, all the young guys, all really talented. Definitely one of the most talented teams in the league. Definitely came up short of where we wanted to be. That's about it. That's all I got for us. That's all I got for us. Terry, you featured up prominently in the highlights. What was your favourite highlight personally for the year? Ah, uh, favourite. We're, we're not going to Jordan this year. I don't know, man. I'd have to say Louis consecutive dunks. Louis consecutive dunks. We'll uh, we'll feature that. And we'll <laughs> There we go, there are both dunks. Thank you very much, Terry. Over to Matty Young. Matty. Uh, sorry, Pete. Now, Matty, you played 50 games this year. Of all the highlights, what do you think features the most for you? What, which highlights? The highlights I saw the night or the highlights? E either I way, of, you, of yourself, you played a bloody star role. What do you think of yourself? I don't know about the star role, but my tail waving was on point. Ronnie didn't get much of that, so hopefully next year when I get my tail waving out, Bit of, towel, bit of towel waving next year? Please, Ronnie. Actually, that's what we needed. We needed the towel waving. There was not enough towel waving. That would have helped us a lot. Um, I reckon if the ball had gone, gone in a lot more, we would have been one. So you're, not, so you're suggesting not enough towel waving? Not enough towel waving. If, um, not enough points scored. If uh, Matty Young cuts his legs off... If Matt, Matt do you, Young should play dwarf basketball. So if, I reckon he would kill it. So Matty Young, if you're going to cut your legs off from about the hip, do you feel you'll be able to help Pete and his team out win gold next time? Oh, oh, we could be the Kobe. You could be like the Phil Jackson and Kobe. So now I'm coaching? No, you're Kobe. I'm Phil Jackson. You're Kobe, he's Phil Jackson. Do you feel you can bring gold home for Australia, Mr. Si Mr. Six Foot Seven, in the Dwarf Games next next time? Next time around. We've got four years to train. I reckon I will give it a shot, eh? There you go. You've heard it first on Chargers TV. Matty Young, Mr. Six Foot Seven, will bring gold home for the Australian Dwarf basketball team. Eliza, 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 we charge us TV, Eliza, we charge us TV, we have to ask, who are you dressed by tonight and did mum do the tie? I was dressed by James Deegan. And who did you tie tonight? Myself. And we've got to ask, um, Peter said that you're, you're going to help him win gold, you're going to help him win gold at the next Dwarf Games, what is your contribution at the next Dwarf Games? I couldn't tell you. 
You've heard it first. Nothing about it. He doesn't know, but he's going to contribute. That's a team player, ladies and gentlemen.